What's going on everybody? Right now I'm going to make a collection video of all the electronic uh, vintage electronic stuff that I own to this day. So here we go. This over here is a 1980s sound design 3838 AM FM electronic clock radio cassette player. This right here is a 1991 Solara solar powered AM FM stereo radio that has never been open as you can see. I should say model number here somewhere. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay, here we go. SP5101. So that's cool. This right here, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this, but this is a general, hold on a second, let me do this so it could be better, okay, anyway, this is a General Electric 71627B AM FM portable personal stereo radio, I believe this is from the early 90s, I'm not quite sure, but it kind of does look like it would be from the early 90s, if I'm correct. Or it could be in the late 80s. Like I said, not sure. Over here is my 1980s General Electric 7-2582G AM FM transmitter radio. I believe this is from 1984, 85, or 86. I'm not quite sure, but from the looks of the thing, I think it's somewhere from the mid 80s like I said I'm not quite sure All right, oops sorry if my hand was in the way okay um, this is a 1985 Panasonic RQ-2103 portable cassette player recorder I showed you guys this the other day and it works very well All right. over here are all the cassette tapes that I own here I'll just go ahead and show you them but this wasn't part of the video but like I said, I'll go ahead and show them to you anyway. Alright, now moving on to the next item, and it's over here, alright, one second, I'm just trying to rotate this thing, so, so it'll be easier for me to know if I'm pointing it straightly, okay, this here is a 1990 Sony Walkman F2015 portable AM FM radio cassette player, I showed you guys this the other day as well. It works it works great. This over here, I also showed you this the other day. This is a 1991 Sony Discman D33 portable CD player. Also works very well. Manufactured in May of 1991. Alright.
Uh, over here is a electronic clock radio that we owned for a very long time. It's been in my family ever since before I was born. This is a Sears 23770 AM FM electronic clock radio. I, th I think it's from the er late 70s, I'm not quite sure, or the early 80s somewhere, but I believe this is from 1980 or 81, I'm not quite sure. So, yeah, this is a very rare find. You don't see too many of th these kinds anymore. Yes, it's pretty beat up, but it still works, as you can see. The digital clock still works, and the radio works, too. All right. And what we got over here, I've never sh shown this before, but over here, it's a 1951 General Electric AM tube radio model 465. Um, it does work. It just it's just not plugged in right now. But yeah, but yeah, this is a rare classic radio that I own. Now for two more radios over here. I'm pretty sure you remembered these radios over here. Down here is a 1956 Silvertone AM tube clock radio model 6025. I don't know if I ever mentioned this before, but the radio and this one doesn't work, but the clock works. As you can see, this thing turning over here. Sorry if I'm stuttering. But yeah, at least the clock works on this thing. And now lastly, up here, is a 1958 AM tube clock radio model 8025. Now in this one, the clock does not work, but the radio does. Let's go ahead and turn it on just for the sake of it. This is an old radio, so it takes some time to warm up. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's starting to warm up now. Convinced the wild thing, Williams and Lenny Dykstra. Actually, it was misogynistic, hip. That was a. All right. As you see, it does work. It works very good. The station I listen to on this thing is KNX 1070 News Radio. Well, alrighty then. I hope you guys enjoyed this collection video of all the vintage electronic electronics that I own. So, and I'll see you all later.